Well, Amnesty International is making an urgent plea for information about four businessmen arrested last month in Tripoli. They haven't been seen since. Two of the men are brothers, both British nationals who are working at a software company. One of them is the husband of our next guest. The other is her brother, Asma Agonim, is joining us from Lexington in Kentucky. Um, thank you for joining us this evening. When did you last hear from your husband? Um, the last time was on the 15th of uh, March. And nothing since then, which is nearly three weeks, am I correct? Yes, over uh, three weeks, actually. Um, the, the last time when I heard from him, everything was fine. He was just calling me to check on us, and everything was fine. Um, then on the 19th at night, my time, um, uh, Khalid Suri, who is uh, one of the uh, captured men, his brother lives in the States. He called me, and uh, he was inquiring about his brother. Um, the last time the family heard from him, he was uh, at my husband's house. And uh, he called his wife, told her, I will be there in an hour. And then he disappeared, never came home. Um, telephone was shut off. They couldn't get a hold of them, so they called me. Oh, this must be really distressing. Has, uh, have either of them had, uh, ever had any run-ins with the authorities before? Not at all. My husband, it's, it's very important to put out there that he has no political affiliation. My brother-in-law as well. Um, the two other gentlemen that were with them, same thing. They are all businessmen. Um, you know, they, my husband and my brother-in-law, they were in Libya for business. Um, my husband resides in the States with us. And uh, my brother-in-law resides in the UK. They, um, they are British nationals. They were born in Leeds. Um, they went to school in the state. Uh, in, I'm sorry, in the UK. Um, my husband, after school, moved to the US. He's been in the US for over 20 years. My mm. brother-in-law actually lives in the UK. All right, and we're looking at pictures, uh -huh. I know, of your brother-in-law now. We've uh, been looking at pictures of your husband. What are you hearing from officials, if anything, at this point? Unfortunately, we're not hearing anything. You know, at this point, we just want to know where they are. They have not even told us this. They took them without um, explaining why they took them. Um, you know, they haven't been allowed the, any legal counseling. They have not been allowed to call family. Uh, we don't know anything about them. If it wasn't for the fact that uh, you know, he had somebody that was visiting him at the time whose family knew where they were. I wouldn't even know where my husband is at this point. Mm. But, um, nice. you know, this is how I found out that he was taken. And um, it's, it's very urgent. Um, uh, it's a very urgent matter. It's very important. My husband is a diabetic. Um, he's been without his medication for three weeks now. God knows what kind of condition he's in. Um, this is really hard. Um, never dealt with anything like this before. All right. And with that, we're going to leave it there. But we do appreciate you uh, joining us on CNN this evening. We wish you and uh, your husband and your brother-in-law, of course, the best and appeal. Uh, they're putting a face, really, on what is going on on the ground in Libya for you. Uh, we did reach out to the Libyan government to get an official response to this story. No luck so far. We will, though, keep trying. And anything we get, of course, we will bring it to you here on CNN.